Hallo og god, god kveld alle sammen. Assalamu alaikum. Fred være med dere. Mitt navn er Truls. Det er godt norsk navn. Mellomnavn Nora Ahmad, som viser at jeg er muslim. Og Bølstad, som igjen viser at jeg er god gammel nordmann. Jeg skal ikke si mye, men jeg har fått i oppdrag av vår Amir, Sartars Muni Ramad Khan, å lede, dette, eller lede oss alle gjennom dette arrangementet. Og vi må begynne nå, for tiden er meget knapp. Vi har fått flere talere enn det opprinnelig var tenkt, og det følgelig må hver taler være meget kortfattet. Dette er et møte der det ikke er adgang til spørsmål og svar, det er bare bare i gåsøyene, eller kun eh, selve innleggene fra de inviterte deltakerne. Det vi åpner med, etter min lille nå innledning, det er koranrecitasjon. Det er jo vanlig på våre møter, vi åpner med koranrecitasjon. Den recitasjonen vil som alltid være på arabisk, og deretter følger norsk oversettelse. Det er uh, Zaur Chaudhry som vil recitere. Assalamu alaikum, fred å være med dere alle. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله يأمركم أن تؤدوا الأمانات إلى أهلها وإذا حكمتم وإذا حكمتم بين الناس أن تحكموا بالعدل إن الله نعم ما يعذكم به إن الله كان سميعا بصيرا يا أيها الذين آمنوا كونوا قوامين لله شهداء بالقسط شهداء بالقسط ولا يجرمنكم شنان قوم على ألا تعدلوا اعدلوا هو أقرب للتقوى واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون نو فلر نشك ورشتلسة هذه رسيتيرت ورشنة أسوكر تلفلكت هو صلى الله مود ساتن دن فربانة ده i Allahs navn, den mest nåderike, den evig barmhjertige. Sannelig, Allah befaler dere at dere gir den betrodde myndighet til dem som er den verdige. Og at dere, når dere dømmer mellom mennesker, dømmer med rettferdighet. Sannelig, salig er det som Allah formaner dere med. Sannelig, Allah er alt hørende, alt seende. Og dere som tror... Vær standhaftige for Allah i det dere er vittner med rettferdighet. Og la ikke fiendskap til et folk forlede dere til synd, så dere ikke handler rettferdig. Vær rettferdige, det er nærmere Guds frykt, og frykt Allah, sannelig, Allah er velvitende om det dere gjør.
Jag tackar för mig Och för vår Amir får ordet så ett par upplysningar till. Efter de olika inledningar och då ska vi se si den andliga födde så kommer den mer jordiske. Då är det mat. Och när vi är färdiga med att spise eller efter vart som man är färdig med att spise så kan de som önskar det, de kan få en omvisning i moskén. Och alla för det går kan komma fram och få med sig en pose med bland annat någon böcker, hvis det är intresserat i dem. Men nu är det vår Amir, Sartars Munir Amalkan. In the name of Allah, the gracious, ever merciful, honorable members of Stutinge, respective guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you. This peace symposium is the first of its kind arranged by Ahmadiyya Muslim Jabhat Norway. The political economical and social unrest in the world is indeed the most critical issue of our time. The civil war and disturbances in the Middle East, Syria, Iraq and Libya, tensions between North Korea and South Korea, the conflict in Ukraine, development of weapons of mass destruction, so-called Islamic militancy worldwide, terrorist attack in Belgium, France, and in our own home, Norway. These are all pressing issues which cannot be ignored, and the need for real peace on Earth is more important than ever before. We, members of Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, believe in the promised Messiah, Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, who made his appearance 126 years ago in fulfillment of the prophecies of Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu He came to teach true Islamic moral values and to end conflict and war. He came with the torch of peace, love, and harmony. It was followed by a system of spiritual successors. That system is called the system of Khilafat. The current fifth successor and Khalifa of the Promised Messiah, Hazrat Mirza Basroor Ahmad Ayyadullah Ta'ala, is at the forefront of bringing true peace in the earth. Under his, guide, under his kind guidance, members of Ahmadiyya Muslim Jawad, numbering tens of millions across 208 countries of the world, are spreading the message of peace, tolerance, justice, equality, mutual respect, coexistence, harmony, and service to one's nation. These are the true Islamic teachings and fundamentals for a peaceful, harmonious world. We raise awareness of the true Islam to counter the negative image portrayed by so-called Muslim extremists. Our message is peace, unity, harmony, and love for all, hatred for none. Love will overcome hate. Light will overcome darkness. Now we will show you some clippings, uh, briefly mentioning some of the efforts made by our Khalifa for peace in the world. Thank you.
Islam. A word so commonly referred to, yet one rarely stops to ponder at the actual meaning. Its common use today brings much anxiety and fear in the public. Among the taboos of society, being a Muslim appears to be one of them. 1400 years have passed since its inception, and it can be understandable for some of its adherents to deviate to far-fetched concepts. Over 140 people dead, mostly children. Terror in the heart of Paris. Charlie Hebdo, a satirical magazine, has been attacked. These incidents, as well as the many more which have arisen in the past 14 years, have led people to believe that Islam is just not compatible anymore with the world. I think we should be heartened by the unanimity of response we saw across all communities, all countries, to the heinous crimes of terror that were committed in the, by the terrorists in Paris. I think I was certainly heartened, as I know colleagues were across government and further afield, by how all faith communities and none came together and said this is a crime against society and a crime against humanity. Many followers of Islam are regrettably drifting, not only from the very essence of its name, but seemingly from the society at large. Yet on the contrary, there are those who tell a different story. Let it be clear that no one can justifiably claim that true Islam cannot integrate into any society. True Islam is that which spreads righteousness, and goodness and shuns all forms of evil. I do not become frustrated and nor do I lose hope because where the Quran and the Holy Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, prophesied about the dire need of today's world, they also gave glad tidings that for the sake of reviving true Islam, a person would be sent from amongst the Muslims who would be the promised Messiah and the Imam Mahdi, the guided one. He would be sent to end all religious wars and at every level of society would transform all forms of cruelty into peace and harmony. We further believe that the task of reviving Islam, which was begun by the promised Messiah, is continuing today through the institution of Khilafat, that is the system of spiritual succession. His message of peace, of reconciliation, of love, um, of commitment to community, of respect for the elderly, care for the uh, young, is an incredibly powerful message. By the remarks he made about the uh, importance of peace in the community and the importance of being part of the wider community and the work that is done within the wider community. And a very clear message, I think, for all of us. Persecuted for your beliefs, jailed for your faith, and exiled from your homeland, but you refuse to turn to bitterness or vengeance. Instead, His Holiness has emerged as a leader of wisdom and compassion, a champion of nonviolence among nations. No society can truly succeed unless it guarantees the rights of all of its peoples, including religious minorities. Whether they're Ahmadiyya, Muslims in Pakistan, or Baha'i in Iran, or Coptic Christians in Egypt. I would like very much to confirm my support for the work that His Holiness and the Ahmadi Muslim community are doing, particularly in London. Even I didn't know when I was elected that my name even will be proposed. The election is the same as the Pope is elected, but without smoke. I know you are a regular uh, visitor and speaker to uh, parliaments and assemblies around the world, whether it's the US Congress or the, or the European Parliament. Let it be clear that I am not speaking in support or favor of any particular individual country. What I wish to say is that all forms of cruelty, wherever they exist, must be eradicated and stopped, regardless of whether they are perpetrated by the people of Palestine, the people of Israel, or the people of any other country. In this we are allied with His Holiness, a courageous champion of religious freedom and of peace. I'm very glad that the movement I used to do 
something to correct this image. Islam means peace. I should thank your